Conservative talk radio host show uh, Rush Limbaugh has died following his battle with lung cancer. He started his talk show in 1988, growing it into the most listened to radio program in the country. Former Re President Trump gave his first interview since leaving office today. He spoke to Fox News about Limbaugh's death. Three or four days ago, I'd call him just to find out, you know, his, his fight was very, very courageous and he was very, very sick. And, you know, from diagnosis on, it was just something that was not going to be beaten, but you wouldn't know it. And he is married to an incredible woman, Catherine, who really, every time I spoke to him, he, he would tell me how great she was. She took such great care. He was very brave. I mean, he, in theory, could have been gone four months ago, really. He just... He was fighting till the very end. He was a fighter. Limbaugh was just 70 years old. Trace Gallagher takes a look at his legacy that he leaves behind. I think people listen to the radio for three reasons. To be entertained, to be entertained, and to be entertained. And avid listeners were wildly entertained when they tuned in to Rush Limbaugh, arguably the most influential talk show host in the history of radio. You're next on the Rush Limbaugh program. His daily program, heard by an estimated 20 million listeners each day and broadcast on more than 650 affiliates, made him one of the most well-known voices for grassroots conservatives and a target of criticism by the left. But long before he was a household name, Limbaugh, calling himself Rusty Sharp, played records on local radio in Missouri. I was 16. That's when I started being a DJ. Limbaugh, a college dropout, moved to larger markets, but struggled to find acceptance for his on-air political commentary. That all changed in 1987 when the FCC repealed a law requiring equal airtime for opposing political views. That allowed stations to legally air Limbaugh's perspective without offering another opinion. Limbaugh was soon broadcasting nationwide. Rush Limbaugh with talent on loan from God. Limbaugh's syndicated radio show became one of the most highly rated programs in the country. Those sharing Limbaugh's conservative views were affectionately called ditto heads. He would soon go from being an everyday entertainer to a formidable force in American politics. I'm dangerous because I am right as in correct and I'm having a good time <laughs> being right. In February 2020, Limbaugh revealed that he was fighting advanced lung cancer. I thought about trying to do this without anybody knowing, because I don't like making things about me, but there are going to be days that I'm not going to be able to be here. Limbaugh had publicly said he started smoking cigarettes as a teenager, but said he quit by the early 80s. Still, he was often photographed smoking a cigar and even questioned the link between smoking and cancer. They say our government, one puff from one cigarette can kill you. If this is true, they should make a scary movie out of this. Limbaugh never had children, but was married four times. Perhaps his greatest lifelong love was radio. A longtime personal friend of President Trump's, there was this State of the You're Union Secretary. first. I am proud to announce tonight that you will be receiving our country's highest civilian honor, the Presidential Medal of Freedom. The president acknowledging the radio host for inspiring millions of people a day. I'm grateful for, for everything that happened. There's so much to be thankful for, especially when right in front of you is the prospect of it being taken away. And it just amps up the appreciation for all of the goodness that you have in your life. One thing both detractors and ditto heads can agree upon, Rush Limbaugh, the man who once claimed to have talent on loan from God, changed broadcasting in America forever. Trace Gallagher, Fox News.